Yo, what is up guys? Jesse LaFlair here from LaFlair Parkour. Today, we're going over the dash vault. We got a good object right here. Um, the dash vault is a very simple and effective vault that will allow you to link two movements together. It's one of the easiest vaults to transition from one object down and into a Kong over the next. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is find a good spot. One that is safe and not too much of a challenge. Should be about hip high. This is a little higher, but that's okay. Um, and when you're looking for a good spot, you don't want it to be too thin. You're not gonna start a dash vault on a rail because it becomes too dangerous. It's gonna be too hard to hit your hands and spot your hands. And you also don't wanna use a spot that's too deep, really long, like a, a bench going all the way this way because then you're gonna have to jump over the whole thing. All right, so this is a good spot. It's got about almost two hand lengths. Nice, easy one that should be fine right in the middle and push off. Let's do it. Now that you've found the right object, let's talk about the approach. The speed that we take into this one is gonna vary obviously depending on how deep this object is. Now this object isn't too deep, but it has a little bit of height, so I'm gonna make sure that I get up on it. As we run in, we're going to wanna to leave with one foot, split step. Now this is where most people get messed up. Most people, when they first try this, they come up and they try to do it like this. And the second they leave, their knees are actually hitting their chest. Because look, if I'm leaning in and I go to lift this leg, that's as high as my leg can go because it's getting stopped by my chest, correct? Now as I lean back, watch my leg go all the way up. <laughs> the more you lean back, the higher your legs can go, right? So I won't have to worry about clipping my feet, which is most people's fear on this move, if my chest leans back enough. With that being said, make sure as you step up, you're running into it, you're leaning back and driving your opposite leg of the one you're stepping off of up into the air. As that leg lifts, your other one will meet it as your butt is coming across almost in a sitting position. All right? Okay, so now if we were doing this inside of a gym or something that we had a soft mat or a soft object that we were jumping over, I would just have you at this point run up, jump, lean back, and let your butt hit the edge, the back edge of the object as if you're trying to sit on it. Then you know that your feet are clearing and that you're landing nicely and you're not coming down straight down on it, all right? But most people don't have mats and we don't have gyms to go train at. So to get comfortable, what we're gonna do with our run up is just practice it. We're gonna run up, instead of jumping over it, we're gonna just jump right on top of it, all right? So it should be like this. Congratulations, you've made it to the halfway point. From this point on, we're moving to the second half dividing the move into two separate things. I want you just to simply start out, sit on the edge with your fingers pointing out, okay, away from you. You're gonna place your hands by your hips, lift your butt, kick your feet out, and push with your arms, okay? It should look like this. Try it again. Once you get comfortable doing that, we could actually start by standing on a little bit. We're gonna drop down very lightly. Now remember, our wrists are something that need to be warmed up before we start doing this movement because our wrists are very sensitive and often are the thing that get injured first, all right? So make sure you do a little warm up with those. You spin them around, you do a wrist press. Don't do that too hard. Make sure you warm up into it. And then we're gonna go up. So from here, standing, we're gonna allow one foot to come out drop down, all right? Come back up, do that again. As we get comfortable with that, we could actually try both feet. We're gonna let ourselves lower slowly, and push out. Now to be completely honest, I don't think that that's super effective. Because the main part of this move is not going over it and coming down on our wrists. Now a dash vault, 
is called a dash because we're dashing across the top of it. In ev almost every other vault, we should be going up and over like a rainbow, right? But with a dash vault, it goes completely the opposite. We want to come straight across and just barely almost skim it. So, which is why it's a dash, right? Dashing line straight across, not an arc. So as we come across, at that point, that means that we're not landing on our wrists. We're actually continuing our movement past the object and pushing ourselves just to get to our feet again. So an important thing to know is when you're coming out of the dash vault and your hands are pushing, you're pushing and pulling the object through and away from you. But as you do that, you're then resetting your chest back over so that you can come out split step, landing one foot, then the other, and continuing your movement forward. You don't want to shoot out and land both feet down because now all our energy is getting jolted through our body and we're not going to be able to continue out with as much speed. All right, so let's take a look at a good one. And now I think it's time to put the first half and the second half together. All right, let's do it. So a little earlier I had mentioned that you can actually dash and continue your momentum straight into a Kong vault pretty easy. Now these objects are a little spaced apart, but I just want to show you with the, you know, in the environment that I have. Check it out. So that's it. That was the dash vault. Please let me know if you guys have any questions by asking in the comment section below. Also, please feel free to post what the next move you want to see me do a tutorial on is and I will respond to you and get that next tutorial up as soon as possible. If you like this, share it. Uh, I make these so that the people in the world that are starting parkour can actually learn. Um, and I have a lot of great tutorials that a lot of people haven't gotten to see yet. So please feel free to share if you'd like, favorite if you'd like, and uh, subscribe if you'd like. Tons more on the way. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Oh yeah, P.S. Le Flair Parkour Bandanas. If you want to pick one up, Link in the description. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, if you want to check out the rest of the tutorials, feel free to click that box. And if you haven't seen those parkour spots videos, certainly worth checking out. And last but not least, I just put up my new parkour reel called Fighting Gravity. I think it's sick, and I think you will too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Peace.